start us off with an opening statement, what you thought about tonight's win? Uh, anytime you can get a sweep against a quality club like uh, USF and and have a come from behind win down down eight, right? It was down eight nothing. I think it says a lot about the character of this ball club. And I, I, I said they were special, and they keep proving it every day to me. So talking about being down eight, that ties for the biggest comeback in school history. You guys just did it a few years ago against Lipscomb. You know, what do you think that says about the character of this program? I think there's no quit. I think they believe that they can get back in it. We just needed to come out and put up a couple zeros and get our – give our offense a chance to get on the board and just try to shorten the lead and try to get back in it. But we got it all back at once, which was very good. And then we talked a lot about the new guys on this year's team. Obviously, Figgy is in that group. He had a great day, three hits, three ribbies, a couple of runs. What do you have to say about him? Oh, he's just, I mean, he's one of the best I've ever coached. Uh, I mean, the guy can absolutely swing it. He's playing with his fingernail off his finger, got hit last night which means more to me than three hits. I mean, he's a warrior. I mean, he came out, and we didn't think he was going to be in the lineup, and he said, Coach, you're not taking me out. And, and that goes a long way, I think, um, with me and the rest of his teammates, which is very important. And then just finally, you know, we've talked about how tough this non-conference schedule is for you guys. What does it mean to you to start off with a 3-0 sweep of the in-state school? Oh, I, well, I think it's huge. I think any time you can get a sweep. But, but, I mean, we got these guys again, and – it could be just opposite the next time we play them because all, all, all those three games were pretty close. And so uh, we'll take it, but we know what work we have ahead of us. All right, Joey, talk to me a little bit about today's game. You know, you came in later on. Things were tight. Were you a little nervous coming out of the bullpen? Uh, I wouldn't say I was nervous, but I was just excited to get out there. Uh, Gaio did a really good job holding in, like limiting the damage. So I just know I had to come in and do my job and then hand it off to McGarry once it was late in the game. So obviously you came in after you guys put up eight runs in the fourth inning. Did that kind of energy feed into your outing out there? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, once that, once we knew, once we came back, I knew we were going to win. That's just the team we are. We practice hard. We do everything, and then uh, it was just something I knew I had to do and made it happen. So talking about energy, the guys in the dugout were very vocal throughout the game. You know, when you're out there and you hear them cheering for you, does that help when you're pitching? For sure. Um, it's just a great time. Like I, I go out there and I just try to have as much fun as I can do what I got to do, and then we celebrate when we win. So you and McGarry are obviously very close off the field. You know, how does it feel when he's coming out there and you're handing out the ball? Do you guys share a few words? You know, oh, what yeah. goes on out there? Oh, yeah. Uh, he kind of cashed my runs in. Uh, got to make a few jokes about it, but we got the win, so that's really all that matters. So you obviously already played two games yesterday, but today was your first game as an Eagle at Swanson Stadium. How are you feeling? I feel amazing. It was a, such a great experience seeing all those people out there. I just absolutely love it. You had a great day, three for four, a couple of ribbies, a couple of runs. You know, can you talk to me a little about your mindset heading into today's game? Um, I mean, last last night, two games were tough. And coming here, we're trying to just defend Swanee, like Coach uh, said. First day, I was a little uncomfortable because of the fingers thing. But I, was, I just, my team needed me, and I, I was ready to go. So thank God good things happened, and we got the runs back. So talking about your team needing you, it seems like you guys have a lot of energy, you know, in the in the dugout during games, you know, even on the base pads, you guys are talking to each other. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, this team is a family, man. Um, we love each other and we want to go far. So brotherhood is what we need to get that extra step, be better than the other teams in that type of game.